We work with all of you in this room very closely. Please consider us your partners. Um, come to our team if you need any help on issues. For the legislators in the room as well, I hope you consider us a trusted source of information on business types of issues. The governor has long recognized the importance of early childhood in terms of the uh, lifetime trajectory of children and recognizing that children need a safe place where they can learn and grow and again change that life trajectory for the future and I think that's something that businesses care deeply about as well and the governor heard time and time again. We don't have enough people to work and attain and occupy the jobs that we are creating in our state and the potential jobs that we can create in our state and a lot of that is because of child care. When we go to businesses and ask them to come to our state, we talk about our great infrastructure, that we're in the center of the United States, that we have highways and rails and water all run through our state. And I think the child care, having child care is a critical infrastructure that we need to do. We have to be very clear that what we're doing when it comes to solving this problem of child care is getting to the root cause of the problem. The root cause of the problem is access and affordability. I mean, there's child care out there, but maybe you don't have a job that has a wage that supports that. I think we could improve the business climate if we, if we focused on tort reform every now and then. And uh, to me, tort reform, uh, whether we have a statute of limitations of five years or two years, I think I think we could find something in there that's, that's more friendly to, to businesses. It was amazing to see the investment in finally expanding I-70 across the state to six lanes. And what I can tell you is when we talk about the use of these one-time funds for generational changes in our state, it all comes down to infrastructure. I see opportunities that we can help our state. We can help the people that we actually voted for us to come here. Not everybody we see in the hallway or and all the people that voted for us to be here. We can do some really good things for, for, for Missourians, for kids, for families. We need to be looking at the big foundational things and that's what we intend to do, at least on the Senate side. And you know, Representative Patterson is great to work with and I think, I think we'll be all right. There are cool heads here, despite all of the rhetoric. Um, there are still a majority of the days that we get along and we can walk into each other's offices and be friendly and, get, and can do some good.